Power of attorney in banking is really important as there can be a sudden change in a person's circumstances. That could be due to mental health, it could be physical health, there could be an accident. So having a power of attorney in place is really, really important, especially just now we're living during a, a pandemic. So people haven't been able to, to go and do their usual tasks. But if they have someone set up to, to visit the bank on their behalf, it can make their lives that little bit easier. It gives them one less thing to worry about. Having a power of attorney in place with the bank allows an attorney to do pretty much anything as long as it details as such in the power of attorney document. So a power of attorney can be put into place immediately. If the person would like the attorney to take charge of their affairs straight away, or it can come into effect when the person loses capacity in some way. In the bank, we can do the day-to-day -day banking, so a person can come in and just act on behalf of the customer for everything, for all of their needs, whether it be standing orders, needing to be set up, cash withdrawn in order to help with the person's day-to-day -day living. We can have internet banking set up for the attorney. If someone comes in to use as the attorney someone's account, we are responsible for going on to our system to make sure that the power of attorney has been registered with the bank already and to check through the details of that power of attorney to make sure that the person who is there is allowed to act on the account in the way that they're looking to do so. We also are there to set up power of attorney so an attorney can bring in the power of attorney document and we will use that document to ensure that we can set up power of attorney on the customer's account and to put into place all the different things that are required by the attorney to, to use the account. If a customer doesn't have a power of attorney in place, family member or a trusted friend that they have asked to come in and do something for them wouldn't actually be allowed to do that. Having a power of attorney set up would make things a lot easier for the customer. The way that you set up a power of attorney and a guardianship with the bank is pretty similar. The difference between having a power of attorney and a guardianship is that the power of attorney is set up when the customer has the capacity to make their own decisions. Whereas a guardianship order, that is where a customer doesn't have the capacity to make their own decisions. And that's why having a power of attorney is, is more important because you have that set up prior to anything going wrong, prior to anything happening, meaning that the, the bank will be able to to act on things quicker because the power of attorney, if it's already in place, everything's already there for us to use. I would say to someone who doesn't have a power of attorney in place to seriously consider having a look at doing it. It can be for young people, it can be for older people, it doesn't matter what age you are. It is a really important thing to have in place as accidents can happen anytime and Illnesses can happen at any time, so it's, it's really important that you have something in place so that if you aren't able to, to look after your own finances and will need to depend on someone else to do it, that you have a family member or a very close friend that you trust in that position.